One of the things I always talk about in business or in show business or anything, I always say that the, the really successful people seem to have, you know, created a vacuum or noticed a vacuum and then they fill it. You know, they are on to something in thinking like other people might not know that this is what they need, but I'm going to create this vacuum and then I'm going to fill it for them so that they go, oh, I can't live without this. Yeah. Do you, when you think about your first business, is that what you were doing? Like this pressure after school? You know, leaving yeah, school? I mean, for me, it was a gap that I was totally looking to fill and it was a need that I was looking for, right? So, you know, when I left, you know, left my first semester, for me, I wanted to learn how to become an investor. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to learn about the stock market. That was my first initial, you know, interest and that, that, that then turned into a passion. And I was looking for how I can find an online community where I can learn from other gurus that know how to trade and I know how to invest, you know, that are sharing information on new undervalued, uh, undiscovered companies that can become the next Apple. And I, and I didn't find one that um, that really was it had what I was looking for, where it had a rating system where people had credibility, mm -hmm. and that was when I said, "Wow, this could be my first idea. Why don't I create something with this? Because there's got to be other." Were you, you know, mathy, and were you very like computer savvy, or you you just had the idea and thought, "Oh, I'll find the computer mathy people." Too. So I found the, you know, I'm not tech, I'm not that mm -hmm. tech savvy, so I had to go and find a coder and a designer. Right. Um, I'm good, I'm very good with numbers, very good with research, and uh, you know, just a hard worker.